So this is a parallel circuit for a resistor and a capacitor. So we're going to have a voltage source, a capacitor, and a resistor in parallel. Our voltage source is 17 volts and 60 hertz. Our capacitor is 3.3 microfarads. And our resistor is 470 ohms. And we're going to complete the table. So we're going to find I values and voltage values, so I's and B's. Um, we're also going to find X sub C. Uh, we're going to find Z. And we're going to find theta. Okay, so let's start out by finding the reactants. This is equal to 2 pi F times C. 1 over that is equal to 2 pi times 60 hertz times 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And so XC is equal to 804 ohms and in the negative 90 degrees direction. Uh, we want to complete our table. We're going to have R. We're going to have XC, and we're going to have total. This is our EMF, or voltage. This is our current in milliamps. And this is our Z in ohms. OK, so filling in the bottom here, we have 470, 0 degrees. XC is 804 negative 90 degrees, and uh, we haven't calculated our Z yet. Uh, so let's start with, let's not start with, uh, with finding our Z. Let's do it a little differently this time. So let's find, uh, the first thing we want to find is I. So we do this table a little bit differently. We're going to find the, um, we're going to plug in our voltages. So we know for a parallel circuit that our voltage across here is the same as the voltage across here. So we can plug in 17 volts and zero degrees for each of our um, elements. So we're gonna have 17 volts and zero degrees, 17 volts and zero degrees, and 17 volts and zero degrees. So we're gonna have different currents through each of our paths, right? So we're gonna have a different current here than we have here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate our current so we're going to say I sub R is equal to our voltage over R. So that's going to be 17 and 0 degrees. And this is going to be 470 for 0 degrees. And we get 0 0.036 amps and 0 degrees. So this is going to be 36 milliamps and 0 degrees. We're going to do the next one, which is, so this is 1. This is two, and this is three. So we'll do three in just a second. Um, let's do two. So I of the capacitor is going to be E over XC, which is 17, zero degrees over 804 and negative 90. Uh, Okay, and so that's going to be 17 divided by 804. We get 0 0.021 amps, and we get 90 degrees. So we're doing 0 minus a negative 90 gives us a positive 90. So this is going to be 21 milliamps and 90 degrees. And so for 3, we want to find I total. And so here we're going to do I total is going to be I R squared plus I C squared. So we're going to do the current triangle this time. So that's going to equal uh, 36 milliamps squared plus 21 milliamps squared. 
So we get I total is equal to 42 42 milliamps. And to find the angle, uh, this is our IR and our IC. This is our IC. We can see our IC is positive just from right here, right? Positive 90 degrees. So our I, this is our I total. This is going to be our theta. So tan theta is equal to IC over IR. And so theta is going to equal 30 degrees. So here I total them is equal to 42 milliamps and 30 degrees. So 42 and 30. And so to calculate Z then, Um, Z is equal to our voltage over I total, and that's going to equal 17 at 0 degrees divided by 42 at 30 degrees. So Z is going to equal 405 ohms and negative 30 degrees. So, oops. 405. And negative 30.